Hey, it's Todd Chance from the Fox 17 Morning Mix here in Grand Rapids. I've got a story to read. Karina Felina. Let's dive in. It's got some Spanish words in here. I'll do my best. The trouble started when Pepe the parrot fell in love with a cat. Certain that the way to her cattish heart was through her stomach, Pepe invited her to his house for dinner. He baked 100 Cuban crackers, he brewed a pot of coffee, he dabbed cologne under his beak. Heart a flutter, he waited for his beloved to arrive. It happened so swiftly that a dumbfounded Pepe could only watch in horror. His guest catapulted herself through the window and onto the table where she devoured 99 of those 100 crackers. Only one left for me, Pepe squawked. Who do you think you are? Well, cat got your tongue? The cat shoved the last cracker into her mouth and sputtered, frum, frum, frum. Why, I'm Karina Felina. I do what I like and I eat what I wish. Step out of my way or be my next dish. The indignant parrot refused to budge. I'm not afraid of you. Not yet, said the cat. And with a gobble and a gulp, down he went. Oh yes, the cat swallowed the little parrot whole. Pepe slid down, down, down Karina's gullet and into her belly, where he landed in a heap of soggy crackers. Feeling quite full of herself and the parrot, Karina skipped out to the market square as she passed a florista, a flower seller. She bit the heads off of two of the woman's prized lilies. The woman leapt to her feet and barked, hey, who do you think you are? I'm Karina Felina. I do what I like, I eat what I wish. Step out of my way or be my next dish. I'm not afraid of you, the florista said with a snort. Not yet, said the cat. And with a gobble and a gulp, down went the florista and her flowers to join Pepe the parrot, who started it all when he fell in love with a cat. The carretero, the ox cart man, looked on in disbelief. Who do you think you are, he thundered. The cat flicked her tail at him and sang, I'm Karina Felina. I do what I like, I eat what I wish. Step out of my way or be my next dish. We're not afraid of you, taunted the man. Not yet, said the cat. And with a gobble and a gulp, down went the carretero and his ox to join the florista and her flowers and Pepe the parrot who started it all when he fell in love with a cat. Who are you? piped a young voice. Karina Felina eyed the boy and his chivo, his goat, with amusement. Well, I'm Karina Felina. I do what I like, I eat what I wish. Step out of my way or be my next dish. Nah, protested the goat. The boy tried to sound as brave as his friend. We're not afraid of you, he squeaked. Not yet, said the cat. And with a gobble and a gulp, down with the chivo and his boy to join the carretero and his ox, the florista and her flowers, and Pepe the parrot, who started it all when he fell in love with a cat. Ding, dang, ding. Bells pealed as the happy novios, the newlyweds, stepped onto the plaza. A celebration of guests followed. But all the laughter stopped when they saw you know who. What is that? croaked the groom. Well, I'm Karina Felina. I do what I like, I eat what I wish, step out of my way, or be my next dish. Watch your catitude, huffed the bride. We're not afraid of you. Not yet, said the cat. And with a gobble and a gulp, down went the novios, the wedding party, to join the chivo and his boy, the carretero and his ox, the florista and her flowers, and Pepe the parrot, who started it all when he fell in love with a cat. Oof. After that big family dinner, Karina took a cat nap. Nearby, two cangrejos, or lamb crabs, watched her with curiosity. They had followed her closely that day, and they did not like what they had seen. No, they did not like it one crabby bit. I believe this greedy cat has gone too far, hissed the smaller of the two. Too far, echoed his brother. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? The smaller one was already at Karina's side. Senorita, miss, my brother and I insist that you stop eating our friends. Or else?
purred Karina in a dangerously sweet tone. Or else, or we shall take steps, said his brother. I'm not afraid of you, chortled Karina. Not yet, they chimed. But faster than it takes to tell it, snap. With a gobble and a gulp down, they went. Just as they had planned. And while Karina Felina lay in a deep and pleasant slumber, things inside her belly were not so peaceful. The cat's dinner was elbowing and jostling and shouting loud insults, aimed mostly at the goat. Basta! Enough! ordered the little crabs. Snip, 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 the clever pair made a little hole in the sleeping cat's coat. Quickly and quietly, out came the Cangreo and his brother, the Novios and their guests, the Chivo and his boy, the Carretero and his ox, the Florista and her flowers, and Pepe the parrot, who never, ever again fell in love with a cat. Oh, you want to know what happened to Karina Felina? Well, after spending the day sewing up the hole in her coat, she became a very picky eater. The 